Daz, what's good? What's up, Vlad? What's Craig Lager? Hey, man. First time officially on Vlad TV. You motherfucking right. <laughs> All right, so you got a new uh, movie project coming. Yeah, Epidemic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me and Dada, along with you. And, um, you know, and just uh, putting these episodes together and, you know, coming with the reality of life and bringing it straight. Okay, so who are you working with on this? Dada, me, and a bunch of homies, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we got another movie called The Speed Eye. You know, me and Dada, we're a uh, production team together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we got The Speed Eye, a bunch of other movies that we're doing, and just keeping the drama and visual in your face. All right. Now, I mean, being in the dog pound, are we going to see other dog pound affiliates and, and so forth, extended Every family? Every day. Every day. Every day. So Don't stop. So um, you've seen Money and Violence. Yeah, I like Money and Violence. I you like know, Shane. Yeah, we, we've interviewed the, you know, the team. Yeah. I, I think they really pulled off some dope shit. Yeah, they pulled it off. There's going to be some West Coast shit. That's what we're bringing to you. You know okay. what I'm saying? That formula. You know what I'm saying? Gritty West Coast gang bang, young, old, homie shit, you know what I'm saying? And crooked police and just everything that got to do with the West Coast when you wake up in the morning. West Coast. So give me an example about how the first episode is going to start out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, start off with trickery women, scandalous homies, you know? Just that whole series of having money and not having money and, you know, and, and coming up with a good plan, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, to come home with something. Right. Now, you grew up where in, where in I grew up in Long Beach, California. Okay, so you grew up in Long Beach. Yeah. Snoop's your cousin. Sir. Okay. So you were born in Long Beach? Yeah. Okay. Born in Long Beach. All right. Now, what was it like growing up in Long Beach during that time, during the, the 70s and 80s? Ooh, a lot of ass weapons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, really? I was a bad child. You know what I'm saying? Me and Snoop painted the house with mud. <laughs> His so mama came home, whipped that ass. He had a water bump on his leg. <laughs> and I, you, you, know, you know, when you're getting a whooping, you're hearing somebody else getting a whooping, and you're just standing there. You know, you next, you just jumping and jumping. You know, just a lot of ass whooping, and, you know, to learn how to hustle. My cousin Joe Cool, mm -hmm. Flip, you know what I'm saying? And just learning all that and incorporating all that to make who we are right now. Okay. You know now, were you involved in the gang shit real young? Yeah, living up, growing up, banging, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, uh, hey, when you're from the West Coast, that's how you grow up. Your parents and cousins and everybody already in it. So your parents were, were gang members as well? Cousins, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So at what point did you start, you know, getting involved in that actual thing? You start going that as soon as you go to school. First grade? Yeah, you know, you're meeting a lot of other kids, so you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot going on. And, Elementary, preschool, junior high school, mm. high school, when you ain't going to school, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you were clicked up from that early, from elementary yeah, school? You know, just being in that family, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because my family popping in Long Beach, so, you know. Okay. Just being affiliated. You know, I was cool. DJing and rapping, and, you know, Snoop was rapping, and, you know, I had the turntables, and, you know, I started off DJing. Okay. So, you know, bringing my turntables from the house to the park. Here, here, you know, and then rapping in here, here, banging here, you know what I'm saying, going to school here, getting kicked out of school here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, expelled, smoking weed, you know what I'm saying. Oh, you got expelled from school? Yeah, uh, plenty of times. Multiple times? Multiple times. Multiple schools then? Multiple schools. I went to school in Compton. Because <laughs> you, know you got kicked Elementary. out of Long Beach. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, uh, at what point did you really start rapping though? Well, no, actually, no, you started producing first. The That's rapping came later, right? I've been, you know, it was Motai, you know okay. what I'm saying, all together. You know, I listened to Run DMC, Slick Rick, Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, you know. And then I was uh, used to go to the VIP all the time. Mm -hmm. So Calvin had turntables That's and stuff. That's the record in the store, back. right? Yeah, record store. Yeah. So in the back was, was Slice and, and Larry and, you know, one Eye Mike. And, you know what I'm saying, it had a lot of DJs. And Sir Jinx used to come down there from, from the Lynch Mob. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, bam. We just put it all together and, you know, I've been stealing turntables, you know. So I'm going to throw this in the trash and I got two turntables and a mixer in a box full of trash. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I've, I've done you know, that and that's how I started job. out. Okay. And then when you learn how to blend and mix, then you know how to produce and put records together. Sure. Now, 
was Snoop doing a Snoop is your older cousin? Snoop my older cousin. Okay, so was he rapping before you? He was rapping before me though. Snoop Rock Ski. Okay. You know what Snoop I'm saying? Rock Ski. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now I at what point I, I remember uh, Corrupt was telling me how he actually battled Snoop. Yeah. I you, wasn't there at that time. You weren't there. Who won that battle? That was it was definitely on the even. On the even. Then dog okay. was tight. <laughs> okay. I mean Trump. Okay. It was like East meets West. Yeah. Because I'm rapping about beheading people and murder and mayhem and destruction and all this. And as tight as my lyrics was, because my shit, I freestyled everything. Okay. That's all I do. But it was just like, you know, my shit is precision. It's like pinpointing. It's like needles. Mm -hmm. But Dog was like that, but he was talking about shit that... The, that LA could relate to, like six four Chevys and this, that, and this. but he was spilling like corrupt. Yeah, but I heard about it, you know what I'm saying? So, and then corrupt was a part of the crew, and you know, it, it all put together. Cause you know, me, it was like one night, me and corrupt was hanging out, we was getting high and shit, and we was looking at the moon and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? It's Dr. Dre, you know? And we was like, man, we need to call ourselves the dog pal. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and from then on, we went and did niggas don't give a fuck. Because we lived in the dog pound. That's what we called our home, the dog pound, the apartment on Franklin and Whitley in Hollywood. Okay. So, you know, like I said before, I was talking to Ice Cube. And he was telling me about the NWA movie. Yeah. So he's like, when Easy die, that leaves an open up for part two. And that's where we come in. Oh. Because when Easy die, it was us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, see, y'all, y'all, so they actually talking about NWA, NWA part two. Or no, we're going we gonna to make our own called DPG for life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because when Easy died, Shug Knight and them still around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dr. Dre. And the story from there, what happens after that? No, I mean, you know, the, that, that whole family tree is crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we, we up next in there. So, you know, we're just putting it together. All right, so. Snoop was rapping, you were producing and yeah. rapping. Uh, Snoop hooks up with Dr. Dre, I guess through Warren G. Yeah, Warren G. Right. So, so he hooked up through Warren G. Um, Snoop got signed to, to Death Row, right? Yeah, Snoop was on Death Row. Snoop was on Death Row. And it said that you were doing some production for Suge's girlfriend at the time? <laughs> Paradise. Paradise. Exactly. Yeah, she was on the Deep Cover soundtrack. Okay. We was writing and producing for her. That was my first project because I had just bought a drum machine. Okay. For my advancement for signing with Death Row. Oh, so you'd already signed with Death Row at the time? Yeah, we already signed with Death Row because the Chronic was coming out. Okay. All y'all signed to Death Row? Yeah, all of us signed to Death Row. Okay. If they want to do they do, let them do the do. They the ones got to ride it out, guys. Okay? Don't throw them under the bus. At least they ain't out hurting nobody. Black people, we have okayed everything down to a point where our culture is gone. Black folks, for the most, most part, don't have nothing to say about hip-hop or R&B. It has been taken away from us. 